Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is super early right now for me. I mean, it's about like 8.30. I have to run into central London for some meetings and I got a PR package, a really special one yesterday and I figured let's test it out. Today's gonna be a long and exhausting day. Let's see how well this product wears. If you're new to my page, my name is Chinute. Welcome, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to join the family. I upload videos twice a week. Wednesdays and Sundays, so hit that notification so you can get notified when I upload a video. I have my coffee here. I'm all refreshed. Yeah, I have what I like to eat in the morning sometimes is like this oatmeal, chia seeds with almonds, and it's just super hearty and super filling and delicious. So have that on the side here. Let's just jump right into it before I miss my train. I'm really sorry about the lighting. It's really gloomy outside. You don't really start to see the light until around 9.30ish. Right, so I got the new Vanish Concealers. Now it's sort of a tradition for me to review Hourglass Complexion products because years ago when they launched the a Vanish Stick and then they launched their Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation which is called the Seamless Finish Foundation which I have here. And now it is their Vanish Concealers which is crazy sick because I'm a big fan of both the foundations. I figured I'd test all of them out for you guys and see how they work together, how the concealer works, how it wears throughout the day. My face is washed and cleansed. I just put on some serum. Now I'm gonna go in with my usual base. My usual base is this Glow Elixir from Skin Like Summer. And it's 8.30 right now, so we can test this out and see how it wears for eight hours, 12 hours. I mean, it's not as big of a deal because it's a concealer, but it's still a concealer. And I take my concealers very seriously, especially the full coverage ones. I'm always looking for new complexion products that are like game changing. I kind of let that sit in my skin, let it absorb. It's actually a mask, a hydrating mask, but I use it as a moisturizer, especially around my eye area because it's sensitive enough to use around your eye area. I then am gonna go in with my all day long, a daily tinted broad spectrum by Dr. David Jack. I really hope the rest of the day does not look like this. Gray and gloomy. Some of my hands. So my skin is prepped and hydrated. I am now gonna go in with the Hourglass Veil Primer. This is one of their best selling primers. Too much? Maybe too much. I'm just gonna go in with an orange corrector because I know if I don't correct today, I'm gonna look like a hot mess in two hours. But yeah, let's just do one eye and see how it looks with the concealer and the corrector. So my Vanish foundation shade is Honey, but I do think this is my summer color. Just going in with a little here. Might be a little too orange for me right now. So this is the PR packaging that I received. It looks like this, and they gave me three shades that they think that I match with a concealer brush. This concealer brush is like super, super soft. I've never seen a concealer brush like this, which I'm really digging because it's like fluffy, it's soft. Ooh! So they sent me beach, they sent me apricot, and they sent me dune. Oh, this looks like my color. This is in the shade dune. Yeah, that looks like it's about right. Ooh, that applies so smooth. Ooh, it's like butter. I'm just curious to see what apricot looks like. Apricot is like a lighter version. And beach is more neutral. Yeah, I am definitely not beach. So I'm definitely dune. Oh, this brush is so fluffy. I'm just gonna go in and blend that in. Oh, it feels like butter. You know how like the NARS creamy concealers, they feel like you're, they're kind of like dragging the product under your eye. This is like the smoothest, not this brush, but the applicator on the concealer has like the smooth, velvety, fluffy, wet applicator. Ooh, stunning. Okay, that's definitely full coverage. Yeah, so the applicator is this like flat shaped wand looking thing and it feels so gentle on the eye. I think this is my favorite concealer applicator ever. Ooh, that is a beautiful finish. 
first impressions, I feel like it's super creamy, really easy to apply. You don't feel like it's dragging under your eye. Sufficient amount of coverage. Like sometimes I say full coverage and it does not feel like full coverage. This feels like full coverage. I think the color Dune is the perfect color for me. I'm usually like an NC40. From MAC, I feel like it might crease because of how creamy it is. It looks so good. I love the applicator so freaking much. I think that's my favorite part. I'm gonna set this bad boy, finish the rest of my makeup, and then come back to you guys and show you how it sets, and then take throughout my day to my meetings and see how this holds up. I have a really good feeling about this. So it creased a little bit before I set it, which is fairly normal for all my concealers, to be honest, because of the amount of concealer that I go in with, it's very likely it will crease, but it feels so good on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels creamy, hydrating, just very lightly baked. I'm going to do the rest of my face. All right, so this is the finished look. Super soft, easy, quick. I'm ready for my day now, so I'm gonna run and catch my train and bring you guys along with me. All right, guys, it is nine o'clock, so it's past 12 hours. And I have to say, I feel like it looks absolutely stunning. Like, I was on the train and I haven't looked at myself the entire day. I think I looked at myself like, twice to show you a six hour update 12 hour update this looks incredible i posted on my story now i just have some oily t-zone area but that i didn't put any concealer there so i can't really say that's the concealer concealer looks pretty great i blew my nose so it's missing some concealer i'll show you a proper update when i get home but creaseless beautiful i feel like it held on to the setting powder very well it mattified it and it stayed matte i mean my t-zone area is oily but that's just mm, an issue of mine other than that where else did i put it so i put it around my eyes i feel like around my mouth area it did come off quite a bit because i was eating out i had three meetings today and all three meetings consisted of me eating when i would use a tissue and i blot my mouth i found that it the concealer would sort of lift but then if i take my finger and just kind of blend it in it would blend in seamlessly whereas other concealers after a while if i try to take my finger and blend it in it would lift off the entire concealer and foundation and it would leave like a fingerprint patch Whereas this has it, I just went in with my finger and I blent it in wherever I kind of moved it around and it looked really good. Very, very happy with this concealer. It's been 12 hours and I still look really good. So I would give this concealer, I don't know why I wouldn't give it a nine. I really can't fault it. The application was smooth. It went on really creamily. I don't feel like it's dehydrated my skin. I don't see like massive crow's feet under my eyes as I would like after a while. I do like to go in with a mattifying primer in my T-zone area, but other than that, I feel like it looks absolutely stunning. And I'm just overall impressed. I didn't want to wait till I got home because it would be another hour, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Very happy with this. What do you think? <laughs> Do you like it? <coughs> yeah? He wants to eat you. He wants to eat you. You can't eat them. I need them. I have to keep them posted. Maybe I'll let him eat you after I'm done. Depending on how nice you are in my comment section. Hey guys. Okay, we just got home. 
It's 10 p.m. This makeup has been on since 8.30. This actually looks quite amazing for over 12 hours. What is that? Eight plus eight, that's 12. 14 hours. 14 hours this makeup has been on and it looks absolutely stunning. Under the eyes, creaseless, perfect. I didn't even bake for too long. I think I mildly... <laughs> so creepy. Babe, how does my makeup look since I put it on at 8.30 in the morning? It looks really good. Honestly, Honestly it looks good. really good, doesn't it? Looks it looks really good. Hourglass, you did very, very well. I give this concealer like a solid yeah. 9 out of 10. I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 just because around my mouth area, it's smoothed a little, it's come off. I didn't blot my face since 8.30 in the morning. It's 10 o'clock and my skin looks absolutely stunning. I kind of don't believe it. So I'm gonna be wearing it tomorrow as well because I have the longest day ever tomorrow. I think I like this concealer better than I like the foundation. I hope you enjoyed this review. Hourglass usually never disappoints, especially with their complexion products. And I just would definitely recommend this concealer. Make sure you comment down below and let me know what other videos or what other products you'd like me to review. And if you're new to my page, hit that subscribe button. and Also hit that bell notification. But it's time to watch this makeup off and I kind of don't want to because it looks pretty good. Thanks for watching guys. Mwah. Until next time. Bye.